So that's Maz, that's, uh, he's my co-founder, and uh, thanks to Eugene for giving this uh, more of a global platform, I would say. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, we are, we are in San Francisco, right next door. But uh, let me ask three questions before I'm going to share what Ideator is. Uh, if I'm going to use the word professional network, very easy answer, which product comes to your mind right now? Yeah. All right. Let me use the word questions. Which product comes to your mind right now? When I use the word idea, which product comes to your mind right now? And what? All right. And, 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 and that's the problem we are trying to solve because, I mean, guys, it's like, there are 3.2 billion people in the world right now. And there are 6.4 internet population, sorry. And there are 6.4 <laughs> per, per Mark Zuckerberg, there are 3.2. And there are 6.4 ideas are being discussed on one year basis. Do you guys even, even know 0.01% of those ideas? 6.4 billion ideas in one year. So, one other thing before jumping to the product I'm going to clarify, it's, it's our biggest struggle, trust me. The word idea doesn't mean Facebook or Uber. The word idea, it's process, it's people, it's tools, it's techniques. It's an idea which you want to give to your kid. Hey, you can better get, get a better education. An idea could be you can give to ideator. An idea could be something which you just want to change the way things are running right now. So, so our vision of Ideator is, so when you come to Ideator, the many products you guys are seeing right now, I need to dazzle you guys, right? When you come to Ideator, there are three reasons you should come. Number one, uh, we all have ideas. Not please, let's, let's get off Uber and Facebook, right? We all have ideas, and, and we really want to spread those ideas. Either you're running a business right now, either you're working on something, you only can do that within your connections, within this closed room. Our vision is taking your ideas and placing it at the global level the way you have done here. Not only within this country, but across all countries. Number two, our goal is pretty much making sure that all the ideas which you guys are working on, we're going to make sure that you get the right feedback. The feedback from experts, feedback from not only within the valley, but across the globe. And last not the least, guys, 6.4 billion ideas. That's what we need to bring on Ideator. And trust me, you're going to miss a lot if you're not here. And you really can take a lot of ideas from different parts of the world because the 96% of people in the world, they're non-entrepreneurs. They are the guys like me who are working in banking for 10 to 12 years. And I have way too many ideas. So let's jump onto the product. So email. So once I'm going to enter uh, the email, you got two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to quickly jump to the product. All right. So once you're coming to the login, <laughs> oh, I forgot my password. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Upper case. All right, so when, when I'm at the product, right, what you can see, I'm following three industries right now, which is entrepreneurship, food and beverage, and travel. And if he's going to scroll down, you can see ideas across different countries. The first one is from France. This is from Germany. This is from, again, uh, pretty much uh, United States. So the point is, when you come to this screen, you're getting ideas from many, many countries and these guys are non-entrepreneurs. These guys are the ones who are the industry experts working in industry for a long, long time. And they're just coming and sharing ideas because they want to spread, they want to get the feedback, and they really, really want to make sure that their ideas are not within the closed doors, not within the mind. Their ideas are going somewhere. And that is the key goal, what we have within the product right now. So there are a lot of other things which uh, in the product, but I don't think so I have time. But there are a lot of use cases in the product. We work with the University of San Francisco. We have worked with Intercontinental Hotels Group. We have worked with a lot of people like you who need ideas. 
And we have only one goal to make you effective, to make sure we save time and money. And you don't spend like an hours and hours and hours on Google just to search ideas and the results will be really, really minimal out there. So we are an idea platform, hopefully in two years, hopefully whenever the person you're gonna use the word idea, people are gonna use idea and hopeful we are getting close there. We're still in the private beta, and, uh, but we have reached 134 countries right now. Not spent a single dollar in marketing so far. So our global people have been really, really effective in the product. So that's pretty much, we are raising a seed round right now and uh, really want to work with the right investor. And I think so that's really important for us because we are not here to make money in the next two years. We really want to take this product with the caveat that this is the next idea platform and we want to bring 6.2 billion ideas to the product. So thanks a lot. I was quick and missed a lot of things, but hopefully the message is clear. Thank you. Absolutely, and that's, uh, that's a great question. So the question is, why is someone going to share an idea, right? So there are multiple reasons. Let's, let's say a few. My personal example, I had an idea yesterday. I was at the bar, and I said, you know what? Like, there should be an app or something that the moment I spend $125, it should pretty much pause my bill right there. Tell me one thing. If I have an idea right now, the same idea, I'm going to keep with me right now. I'd, just cannot do anything. That's the first reason that I want to share that idea somewhere. It's not about like, I'm gonna do something with that, but there's a need. If someone else is gonna build this, I can probably use that as a product. That's the first use case. The use case too, someone's gonna really, really share idea is, because what we also do, let's say if you wanna share an idea for, uh, let's say Uber, right? You're gonna hashtag Uber. What we're gonna do, we are taking those ideas and we are pushing them to these companies. And let's say if you're one of the consultants or freelancers, we are tying you to a given company. Your ideas is your currency within the product. And if your idea is really good, you're gonna get a call, you're gonna get an email that, hey, we wanna work with you, right? So we are creating connections based on ideas. My last use case is we worked with University of San Francisco. Dean was very, was very clear, hey Anshul, we have way too many ideas in the class right now, just like this. A lot of offline ideation, but I want to take them online. I want to take these ideas online. And I don't want these ideas to get lost in the air. That is one other use case. Each person, I believe, so you'll have your own use case for ideas. If you need ideas, you can come to me. I can personally make sure I'm gonna run a campaign for you to get you ideas, and that's the reason. Can I ask a question? If you, you have a problem, good. thank you. No, I'm just kidding. If you have a problem that you need to solve, mm -hmm. can you ask a question and people submit ideas? Is there a, is there a way, a mechanism for that? Right. So there's something called get a feedback because a lot of people think an idea is the next big thing, or it's something you have to think about. It's always possible you're working on. I'm working on an idea right now. One of the things I need, feedback. I want to use this product to get the feedback from you all. So absolutely, that's one of the most important things for us as well. Yeah. Any other questions? Please. So you're saying that uh, your idea is visible to anyone on the platform. Say you scaled and now you have a user base of a thousand millions. How do you filter that? How, how I'm going to filter the ideas? Yes, because you said that you, anybody will be able to see your idea. Right, so there is a concept of private versus public as well. So you can keep it private. That totally depends on you. But just being honest, this is just one person. I mean, for me, it's, it's about like you can keep your ideas private when it comes to business, but any non-business ideas, hey, I'm, I want to share. And if my idea can only be seen by my followers within Twitter, my friends within Facebook, I'm going to come here and I'm, this product going to make sure that your idea is somewhere in Africa, somewhere in India, somewhere in Europe, somewhere in Singapore as well. And that's the value we want to give to you. And you will be recognized based on your idea being public. But you always have an option to keep it private as well, as long as it's on the business side. Why did you choose 
ideator. I mean, yeah. I, I had troubles with pronouncing letter R till I was six. Uh, my mother brought me to a speech, mm. too. You know. <laughs> and you made double R. I mean, I'm not to blame, but how did you come up with the name? I knew. Uh, and and so the, my, my English is not that good. See, so the question is why you came with the word I D A T R R. So he said, why two R's? So the reason for first R is I had a bottle of scotch, and the second R because I had a bottle of wine. So after two bottles, I think so. These were the only two options I had. So that's pretty much. <laughs> All right. I think this is as good a spot as any to finish. Thank you, ideator. Thank you, everyone. Thanks,